A long, long time ago, more than a year in fact, a little girl lived with her mother in a little house on the edge of a deep wood. It was a pretty house and she was a pretty girl. Her name was Trisanelda Wuffenpickle. But she had such lovely golden curls that everybody called her Goldilocks, which you must admit was just as well. Now Goldilocks had just one bad fault. She was very careless, especially with things that belonged to other people. Children who let her play with their toys always wished that they hadn't. One day, Goldilocks decided to take a walk into the deep woods. It was going to be a long walk, so she packed a lunch and borrowed her father's compass to show her the way. And off she went. Well, about two sandwiches, a banana, and four prunes later, she decided to start back. But the compass now acted very strangely. She started toward what she thought was home, but the first thing you know, she was walking in circles. Only she didn't know it. Look, footprints. If I follow them, I'm bound to get out of these woods eventually. So Goldilocks wearily trudged round and round in the same old circle for hours. Then, alone and scared, she covered herself with a cloak. Well, almost. And shivered her way through the long, cold night. Ah! Now... Just a little way from where she lay stood an odd-looking house, the home of the Bear family, Papa, Mama, and little Oswald. Breakfast is ready. Mmm, looks good. Oh. Oswald, stop shouting. That wasn't me. It was Pop. Why, Bruce Bear. Hot. What? Not what? Hot. It's hot. It's supposed to be hot. Not that doggone hot. Oh, all right. Why don't we take a little walk until it cools off a bit? So the three bears set out on their walk, leaving their breakfast on the table. Meanwhile, back at the old oak tree, Goldilocks suddenly woke to a wonderful smell of hot porridge. She followed the smell right to the cottage. There was nobody home, but a little thing like that didn't bother Goldilocks. Oh, joy, breakfast. Oh, that's too hot. I'll put some milk on this one. Oh, wow, that makes it too cold. Mmm, this one looks just right. And it tasted just right, too, clear to the bottom of the bowl. Then, because she hadn't had much sleep the night before, Goldilocks began to feel tired. Oh, these chairs look good. Oh, dear, this one's much too high. And this one's much too low. But this one is just right. So Goldilocks rocked and rocked in Oswald's tiny chair until one time she rocked just a little too far. But Goldilocks didn't care. After all, it wasn't her chair. Still, she needed a place to rest, so upstairs she went to lie down in one of the beds. Papa's bed looked pretty inviting, but it was too hard. While Mama's bed was much too soft, but little Oswald's bed was, well, you guessed it, just right. So Goldilocks quickly dropped off to sleep just as the bears returned from their walk. I thought I told you to close the door, Oswald. I did. Perhaps somebody's been here while we were gone. Oh? Uh, anybody here? Oh, what the ding-dong! Somebody's been eating my porridge! Somebody's been eating my porridge! Somebody's been eating my porridge and didn't leave spoon one! Look in the other room, Bruce. Somebody's been rocking in my chair! Somebody's been rocking in my chair! Somebody's been rocking in my chair, and were they ever heavy? Bruce, someone's upstairs. Careful now, there may be trouble. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed. And here she is. Oh! Things got pretty frantic then.
until Goldilocks dashed out of the house and ran all the way home. Now, now, Bruce, she's only a people. She doesn't know any better. And I'll bet she sure learned a good lesson. Well, that was true. From that time on, Goldilocks was as careful as could be of everybody's things, even her own. So, of course, she lived happily ever after. And after a little house cleaning and mending, so did the three bears. <laughs>